Hey guys, so uh, before we go any further, it's important that we talk about data types. Data types are essentially the type of data that uh, a variable can hold or that a program can operate with. And uh, there are different data types, as you might imagine. Uh, a text string, for example, is a string of letters, could be numbers, could be special characters. What matters is it's written out as text. It's like a label. Let's say we wanted to turn the number 5 into a text string. Uh, we could say something like x equals quotation marks, 5 quotation marks. Uh, and basically that would mean that the number 5, even though it's a number, is actually a string of text. On the other hand, if we just say x equals 5, then Python knows that uh, the number 5 is an integer and you can add it and subtract it. Uh, we'll see a little bit later that if you try to add uh, strings and integers, for example, it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and look at some data types and uh, we'll see what we can find here. Okay, so once again, we're going to pull up the command prompt and we're going to go into uh, Python. Okay, here we are in our programming environment. And like I said a while ago, we're going to use x as the variable name. Now, this is not a good idea. Uh, using a variable name as x is real, doesn't really explain things, but in this case, we don't need to explain things. I'm explaining things as we go, and it's a temporary variable, so we can get away with this. But uh, we're going to establish this x as an integer. Okay, An integer is just a number that doesn't have a decimal. It's a whole number. So we're going to say x is equal to 5. And now Python knows that x is equal to 5 as an integer. We can add, subtract, multiply, divide. We can do whatever you can do with an integer. Uh, if we want to know what type of, of a variable x is, what data type it's holding, we have to ask Python. So what we can do is use the print function because we have to print it out. And then we're going to use the type function. And what that does is that gives us the type of, uh, of data that we're holding. And then we're going to put the variable in there. So uh, we hit that. It should give us the type of data that is in variable x. And sure enough, it's an integer. It says class int. What that tells us is that Python uh, recognized that the variable x is holding an integer. Now, let's change what x is holding just a teeny bit. Okay, notice x is still the value of 5, but now it's in quotation marks. So x is holding an entirely different type of data. Even though it looks like the number 5, it looks like an integer. When we uh, ask it, now we find out that it's a string. This is basically uh, the type of text, like if we put x equals Mariana. Uh, do the same thing. What we're going to find is that x is still a string. It's text, so the number 5 or Mary Had a Little Lamb, what matters is that it's surrounded by quotation marks. Now, if we try to perform operations, let's say x is equal to 5 as an integer, and y is now equal to 5 as a string, and we say z is equal to x plus y, we get an error. Unsupported operand type. You cannot add integers and strings. You're going to have to change one into a string or one into an integer. If you add two integers, of course, we would have gotten 10. What would have happened if we'd added two strings? Well, let's see. x is equal to 5. y is equal to 5. z is equal to x plus y. This time we didn't get an error. But if we print z, what we find is 5,5. Five. So basically what the addition sign does with strings is it concatenates. Concatenates. That's a word you need to know. It means it sticks them together. 
one after the other, whichever one comes first, and then it sticks the next one on uh, without any spaces, without anything else. If I say x is equal to hello, and y is equal to world, and I say z is equal to x plus y, and I print z, then I get hello world. But you notice there's not a space in there. So I would have to change one of these and add a space, or I would have to add a space using concatenation in order to get the space. But you get the idea what concatenation is. It's taking two strings and sticking them together. It uses the symbol for mathematically adding something, but it's not a mathematical operation. It's just adding strings together. Okay, so we've gotten integers and strings down pretty well. But what happens if now I say uh, x is equal to 5.5? And then I want to print the type of x. Now it's a float. What did we change? Well, we added a decimal to that. We added a decimal, and that uh, changes the way things work. So uh, let's see. What else can we do here? Let me go back and look at another one. Uh, Python also recognizes complex numbers. Let's say x is equal to j. We say print type x. It's a complex number, and basically, if you're familiar with mathematics, you know what a complex number is. I'm not going to go into that right now, but uh, basically, it's a number that's not real. Uh, and we'll go from there. There are other different types. For example, a list is a very popular data type. It allows us to keep a group of items in the same container and then refer to them by index numbers. So let's make a list. I'm going to make a list of fruit. And we're going to say apple. Now that's a string. Notice we put it in quotations, but starting it off with a square bracket tells Python that there's going to be more items in this variable than just one. So let's say banana. And close our list. Now we have a list, um, basically a list of fruit, apple, banana, and cherry. This can be referred to as a single unit named x, or it can also be referred to as x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. So we can still use the items inside here, or we can use the whole list itself. If we find out the type of it, It's a list. So let's uh, look at some other things that, that X can be. Uh, let's look at a dictionary. How about that? A dictionary is a special kind of list. And basically what it does is it takes two things and sticks them together. And it refers to one thing by the other. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a curly bracket. And we're going to go... Let's see here, name, we're going to tie that to apple, and then we're going to say type, and we're going to tie that to fruit. So now we have a dictionary. It has one entry, the name of the entry is apple, and the type of the entry is fruit. So we can use a dictionary to describe different kinds of data and we can use that to to uh, to describe the data in our program. Uh, how do we know it's a dictionary? Well if we print type of x it tells us it's a dictionary. So we've looked at some different data types. If you'll look at the uh, list above this video in the table you will find that it lists out all the different types of Data. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I am going to uh, just kind of hit the high points. How do we set data types? Well, basically, it matters. Uh, what matters is how we create the data. For example, up here, I presented the the value of x as a string, and the way that I designated that was I put it in uh, 
uh, double quotes. You can also use single quotes in Python, and there are reasons why you'd want to use one or the other, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, just know that surrounding something in quotes and assigning it to a variable makes it a string. On the other hand, if you use a number without a decimal and you assign it without quotes, that makes it an integer. On the other hand, if you use a number that has a decimal uh, and you assign it without quotes, that makes it a float. If you use a mixture of numbers and letters without quotation marks, that makes it a complex number. Uh, if you use square brackets followed by a list of strings separated by commas, well, that makes it a list. If you use curly brackets and you follow it with a list of strings and each one uses a colon to assign a value uh, to a name or to a type or something like that, or, or if, you, if you connect two strings together with a colon and then separate each of those pairs by a comma, that makes it a dictionary. There's one more data type we're going to look at that will probably be useful, and that one is a Boolean. A Boolean is simply a true or false value. A uh, Boolean is not a text string. It's not the word true or the word false. Uh, although it can have a number value, it can be 1 or 0, that's not what it is. It's a true or false value. So if I say x equals true, and then I come here and I say print type x, it's a boolean. It's not a string. You think, well, it's some characters. It must be a string, but it is not. Now, if I do this, now it's a string. All right, guys. So uh, having looked at data types now, you should be able to do some work with them. So uh, the assignment is in the text of the, uh, of the web page, of the Canvas page. Go ahead, complete the assignment, and then do your screenshots as usual. Use the uh, print screen button and, or whatever screenshot application that you have, and then turn it in, and uh, we'll go on from there. I hope this wasn't too confusing and that you get you were able to get something out of it. Remember, data types are important because different types of data have to be processed in different ways and it's important that we keep it uh, that we keep our program uh, in touch with what data types it's using now here's the thing about python that can be good or it can be bad python is loosely typed that means it doesn't care what kind of data you put into a variable you notice the only variable name that we use for the most part in today's lesson was just x and we didn't designate any difference between x and any of the other x's. We just said x is equal to, and the next line we said x is equal to. We just changed x without doing anything else to it. In tightly typed languages like Java, for example, you have to establish a variable before you assign it. You have to say, uh, let x be a uh, string. And then once you've established x as a string, you can only put strings in there. You say x is an integer, but once you've established it, you can only ever put integers in there. You can't jump data types or swap them out, things like that. This is good because it is uh, a good way to keep your program from getting confused. Uh, it's easy if you have a really big program to change a data type unknowingly and then your program will either give you unexpected results or it'll throw an error, depending on what operations you're trying to do. So having a tightly typed language that doesn't mess with data types, it requires you to uh, establish them before you assign any data into a variable, That's that can be a good thing. On the other hand, it's really convenient just to give a variable a name and stick data in it and not have to worry about, well, did I establish that this type or that type so convenience versus error. You can have a lot of errors uh, stemming from data types. So if you're using Python, you have to be careful. That's the main thing. You have to be careful uh, using Python because you can make a mess with data types. You can get confused and, well, like we saw a while ago, trying to add a string to an integer doesn't work. 
and so uh, that can cause your program to crash. On the other hand, it's really convenient. So anyway, I'll let you make of that what you will. Go ahead and finish the assignment and let me know how things are going. If you need help, uh, hit me up in the Canvas inbox and I'll see you in class.